Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, bear with me. I'm not a great public speaker, so uh, we'll try and get through this as easily as possible. My name is James Seyou. I'm uh, Murdoch Algonquin, also Mohawk blood. Uh, I live here in the Kingston Cataraqui community. Um, I was asked to speak because uh, I am uh, most recently uh, affected about from the justice system. Um, currently here um, in Kingston. Um, we have a pretty good police force. They try and work with us as best as possible. Um, we appreciate that. They let us do our rallies and marches. Um, but sometimes they got to come get us. And uh, I was one of those candidates in recent months. And uh, I, uh, there was a problem here in my community. And I uh, stuck up for that problem. It's a financial problem. They took money from our local center, some, some people. And so I stuck up for that problem. And then those people sent sent the uh, government agents after my family. Told them a bunch of lies about me. So I defended myself, my aunt, my honor, uh, and my family. My family's right to exist uh, together. And uh, that went badly. Um, I'm now on probation. Um, it's not going to be a lengthy time, but uh, it'll straighten me out and uh, keep me on a short leash. But uh, the problem that I see here in our community is uh, we don't have an Aboriginal uh, justice program, really. Uh, there's no Aboriginal lawyers. And the, the GLAD-U uh, legislation isn't being uh, recognized as widely as we'd like to see. Um, currently, uh, there are uh, probationary staff um, telling some clients that that doesn't exist here in our community. I am the example that it does exist. I had a GLADU report written uh, by a woman in our community and she's affiliated to our local Friendship Center and uh, so it does exist. Uh, so anybody that's hearing that, uh, we, we need to correct that statement and correct uh, what's going on. There's a lot of Aboriginal folks here within the city. Some of them don't even know they're Aboriginal. Um, and and they're not being dealt with in the appropriate manner. And uh, the other problem we see here is the lack of programs, both in and outside the institutions. Um, if the right sort of programs were in place, many of our people wouldn't be going in. And if the same programs were in place, um, we wouldn't have repeat offenders, and we wouldn't have a revolving door system where they're, you know, coming coming out to society and not knowing what to do with themselves, and ending up getting back into trouble and back in a place like this. Um, other problems that we see here: uh, closures, uh, prison staff. We're going to have to move around the move around the area. Um, not enough beds. There's double bunking, triple bunking. Uh, again, lack of programs. Um, but yeah, if we don't speak out about this and 
get a message to the federal government that we want it to change, then it's just going to continue. And we're going to have the same types of problems continuously. Um, I'm a pretty young guy, but, you know, I, ex I don't expect to see much change. Um, we all know who's in who's in power right now, and they're not uh, they're not friendly with the pocketbook. So we'll see what's what's to come. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say, and we're gonna hand it back over to Matt. Thanks, James. Thank you, James.